Hi guys, it's Juliet. For those of you who don't know me, I am a founder of My City Plants. We specialize in indoor plants and full maintenance service for commercial clients. Even during these crazy times when the city is on a lockdown, the plants still need to be serviced. So I'm going to take you with me to a few offices in Soho and East Village to show you what I'm doing about and share my routine with you. I'm also walking between the locations, so I'm going to capture few areas to show you what New York City looks like today. Let's go! I arrived at my first stop and I'm gonna start with smaller plants. This plant needs some watering and light dusting off. Perfect. Now I can move to Calathea. This baby needs a lot of trimming. One of the stalks on this guy is not doing too good. You see all the leaves are wilting and drying out and right here it's completely dry. It's already lost one of the stems. So in order for me to protect the other two stalks, I would have to remove it. And I'm just simply, it's three separate plants in here. So each stalk is a separate plant. So all I have to do to remove it is start twisting it to loosen it up. And once I feel it's free, I can easily, slowly, so I don't spill all the soil. I'll just remove this stock. So now the plants, this remaining two stocks can be happy. You can see right here, there is already a new baby growing up. See, see how pretty? So these two stocks are healthy and they're gonna get better now when the sick brother is out of there. Looks like this plant also lost one of the stalks. It's very soft and you can see the top of the leaves are dead. So I'm gonna do exactly the same as I did previously for the corn plant. Which I'll twist it out and pull it out of the soil. Yeah, you see how dry the tips are? Yeah, this way the dead plant is out of the arrangement. So the other stems will not be affected. Now I'm gonna give this plant some trimming. As you can see, there's a lot of dry and yellow tips and give it a really, really good cleaning round. I have to move plants from the back of the space closer to the window. It's very easy to do with our planters. They're very lightweight. The inner pot can be removed. The covers move separately and the inner pot placed back inside the cover. All right, guys, I am done at my first stop. It took me a little over two hours. Uh, the plants needed a lot of trimming and pruning. The office has been closed for a few weeks. There is not much light in the main office space, so that's why a lot of plants have struggled. And I was not able to get here for a long while. The only good thing about it that I didn't have to water anything because we, all of our plants are potted in planters, the self-watering planters. So we have filled up the reservoirs of the plants a few weeks back. And even if today, like almost four weeks later, none of them needed watering. Woohoo! This is great. So I had to, you can see how much I had to trim and prune. And because there is a spring right now, one of the plants had a mealy bug. So the bugs are really, really active during the springtime. So I had to treat. Uh, this plant with uh, my home remedy, which is a dish soap and water. I washed the leaves, I sprayed it. So now the plant is absolutely great. I do have regular access to the office right now. I'll be back now once every two weeks. I'll keep treating the plants. I'll keep cleaning them, missing them. So they will not gonna need any, any major makeover as I had to do it today. So because of the lack of light in the main office space, I had to move plants in the conference room so they can get some light. And every time I'll come now, I'm just gonna have to rotate them to make sure they get an equal light exposure. So before I leave to my next stop, I'm gonna give all of them just refreshing misting. Now they will clean, train, clean, treat it, refreshed, and happy. Off I go.
Oh my God, guys, look at this cabbage plant. Look how much it grew. Look how weird it looked. It's pretty cool. Look at the flowers. See the flowers over there? Yeah, check it out. The spring is definitely here. This is a very cool looking arrangement. Only in Soho. Fun. Plants make everything look better. And lingerie looks much sexy with the mass of the greenery on the background. I made me to my second stop. I'm still in Soho uh, and I can see that plants in this office, again, this office has been closed for a few weeks. I have not been here for more than three weeks and I can see that plants are showing me some sign of stress. Some leaves are yellow and droopy. I can see on this beautiful ponytail palm that some tips need to be trimmed. So I'm gonna clean it up, check the watering. I mean, water, mist, clean, rotate. Make sure they all look good until my next visit. Okay, let me check. Yeah, the soil is still pretty moist. Once again, because the plants are all potted in the self-watering planters, we filled up the reservoir a few weeks ago and even till today, it doesn't need it. So this is probably just the reaction for lack of airflow. And I had to move this plant from the back of the room where it was pretty dark without the light. So that's why you can see some of the leaves are dying off and turning yellow. So I'm just gonna simply remove them all. Make sure the plant has no dead leaves on it. To make it look prettier. very easy you just cut it off and that's it now when the leaves all the yellow leaves are gone the plant looks perfect now i'm gonna clean the leaves and move to the next plant all right guys i am done here it didn't take me as long because we were here not that long ago and the plants in a much better state all plants, as you can see, were moved here at the reception area because when the office is closed, there is no light at all. So that's why plants are all here, getting some light so they can feel better. Now I'm off to my last stop of the day. I took 15 minute walk from Soho, or should I say swim, because the rain is pouring like crazy. And now I'm in East Village. This is where my last stop is. I'm going to walk through St. Mark's Place, usually one of the busiest streets in New York City. And you can see how empty and sad and deserted it is right now. All right, I have made to my uh, final destination of the day. And uh, I discovered that some of the airheads are actually struggling a lot due to absence of the regular routine. So this guy didn't really make it. I can propagate it, put it in the water. This plant right here is overgrown. That's why it's falling over. Plus uh, the plants were not rotated. That's why you can see they're kind of leaning towards one side. So what I'm gonna do, I will repot these plants, all three of them in the pot here, and then get just new plants for the planter that has three plants. Shouldn't be hard. I'm gonna make a little mess, but I'm sure it'll be easy to clean up afterwards. Yeah, let me see if actually it's worth navigating. All right, I'm gonna put it aside now. Deal with it later because it's not my home. I can't really leave uh, plants, propagate plants in someone's office. I'm going to take it home and see if I can propagate because I have the same plant at my home so I can propagate it and add more to the arrangement that I have. All right, little guy, you're coming with me. All right, let's see what we can do here. I want to make sure I have enough depth because these plants are more mature, so they need enough depth. Yeah, the soil has a special sap truck mixing for 
aeration for better water uh, level moisture separation. And then get those guys out without breaking them. One is out. So it comes the other one. Yeah, those guys have a much healthier boots. I'm curious to see if this guy right here. Alright, so I have to put this as low as possible into this spot to set it up very, very quickly. So it will go in first. So that's great. I'm going to get some up a little bit of soil. Put another guy in here. And then the last one will go here. See, perfect. So three of them make beautiful combination and then we'll pull press the soil around each separate plant to make sure they have enough support for the stem. Okay. Well, there's always little projects that are happening in the office, especially when the periods between visit are so long. But now, once again, as I mentioned earlier, I do have a full access so I can keep the regular routine and to avoid all this overgrowth leaning. That's it. And of course, I will have to clean the mess. So the self-watering pot, by the way, the weaker system. So you can see those ropes, they, that's how the water gets transported to the soil. So I'll fill up the reservoir and the plant just drinks what it needs. This is a water level indicator and it shows me when the reservoir is empty or when it's full. And when the reservoir is empty, I know it's perfect time to start testing the soil. So I'm gonna test these guys and see if they need water. Because I reused the same soil, so the soil is pretty moist. Yeah, I would still need to water them. Because usually after you repot the plants, you have to add a little bit of water. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So this is the new arrowhead arrangement. And I'm gonna get new plants for this planter when I come next time. As I said many times, guys, all our plants are potted in planters with built-in subrogation system. So when the plant is mature, it roots grow into the planter and they can reach the water reservoir. Let me show you. This plant has been here for a while, so you can see. You see how amazing it is? So the roots are all grown out and the cover of the planter works as a water reservoir. So when I fill up the reservoir, this tube tells me when the reservoir is full and I'm just simply filling up the reservoir through the opening here. And this is goes underneath in the bottom of this the planter cover. And then the plant will drink it when it wants to, how much it wants to. Usually it takes about two or three weeks for the plant to use the water and dry the soil. So in three weeks, we'll be definitely ready for another watering. You see, it's all the way to the maximum. Watering is done. Next time, I just have to check, clean and trim. Perfect, right? My day is done. I have finished everything. Plants got complete green facelift make over and a fresh start so now they're ready to go back to their regular care routine it was fun having you with me today take care of yourself and take care of your plants i'll see you soon